watermelon is part of the cucubitae family and is one of the most widely cultivated crops in the world. Watermelon is not only flavorful, but may also reduce many health risks. Watermelon has the ability to eliminate even cancer cells. There are multiple steps in the watermelon cultivation process. The first being climate, followed by land preparation, planting, irrigation, harvesting, and storage. Climate requirements. Temperature. The most appropriate climate to grow watermelons range between 18 to 35 degrees Celsius. Temperatures above 35 or below 18 degrees may result in poor growth or slow maturation. Land preparation. Watermelon grows well on sandy loam soils that are well-drained, slightly acidic, with a pH of 6 to 6.5. Prepare the field by plowing and harrowing thoroughly and remove any type of other plant debris. Shape the land into beds, which facilitates furrow irrigation of the seedling and drainage after heavy rain. Always make sure the width of the beds is 2 meters wide and 20 to 30 centimeters high. Leave 2 meters wide furrows between each bed. Sowing and transplanting. Watermelons interact well with fertile soil with high organic matter. Before planting, mix plenty of compost or manure with the soil. Plant two seeds per hole three to four centimeters deep into the soil. Then, water the soil thoroughly. When transplanting, it is recommended to lay a black plastic film on top of the two meter beds. This will result in heated soil and weed reduction. Transplanted seeds are then planted directly through the black plastic film. Mulch. When planting watermelons, apply mulching as it helps retain the moisture of the soil. It is recommended to use organic mulch, such as grass clippings, hay, and leaves. Mulching also provides food for the millions of microorganisms in the soil, thus making the soil more nutritious for the plant. Fertilizer application. In order for resourceful development, Watermelons need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium-based fertilizers. The maximum amount of these fertilizers required is 60 pounds per hectare. Before planting, apply a general spread of urea fertilizer, as it will help in the metabolism of nitrogen-based fertilizers after planting. After planting, apply a spread of nitrogen-based fertilizers such as ammonium sulfate or ammonium nitrate at a rate of 60 pounds per hectare. Crop watering and irrigation. There are three critical points in which watermelons require sufficient moisture. These are immediately after planting to allow fast and even emergence. Also at early bloom to prevent poor misshapen fruit and finally during fruit development to ensure good melon size. Avoid overwatering as it will decrease fruit development, which results in blossom end rot and fruit splitting. Weed control. The best method of controlling weeds is through the process of hand hoeing. This should be done before the vines have developed. When using chemicals, it is recommended to apply Matum Sodium, which suppresses unwanted weeds. Crop Harvesting Crop harvesting usually begins three to four months after planting. To determine the level of maturity, thump the watermelon several times. If the crop is still immature, 
you will hear a metallic ringing sound. If the crop is mature, you will hear a dull or muffled sound. To further determine the level of maturity, cut open a few watermelons from various areas in the field. Storage. Watermelons can survive in a storage with a temperature of 11 to 15 degrees Celsius for about two to three weeks. If watermelons are stored for too long, it may result in chilling injury. To improve both the color and flavor of the fruit, it is recommended to keep the watermelons at room temperature for up to a week. Common diseases. Damping off disease. With damping off disease, seedlings undergo rotting and eventual death of infected roots. To manage this disease, use certified disease-free seeds. Avoid fields with damping off history. Leave wide spacing between plants. Avoid overwatering. Plant only fungicide treated seed. Drench soil with copper hydroxide. Powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is a fungal disease affecting a wide range of plants, and you will see fungal growth on the surface of the leaves. Also, severely attacked leaves turn brown, dry, and brittle. To manage this disease, use resistant varieties, if available. Destroy weeds. Angular leaf spot. Angular leaf spot in plants is caused by several bacteria that survive in seeds and plant debris. You will notice angular spots on leaves with variable sizes. To manage this disease, use certified disease-free seed. Practice crop rotation. Avoid runoff water from nearby overhead irrigation. Pests. There are several pests that often attack watermelon plants. The most common of these pests are aphids, white flies, epilacna beetles, and flea beetles. Aphids are small bugs that suck the sap from plants and can cause extensive damage to crops. To manage aphids, apply crop rotation and treat plants with selective insecticides. White flies are small white bugs that damage plants by feeding on the sap. They also excrete honeydew where molds grow, which may affect the plant. To manage white flies, control and remove weeds, and spray fields with selective insecticides and neem products. Epilacna beetles are small yellowish beetles with a number of black spots on their wings. These pests feed on leaves, leaving a net of veins and can destroy entire crops. To manage epilacna beetles, spray fields with selective insecticides and neem products control and remove weeds, and apply crop rotation. Flea beetles are black, brown, or metallic beetles that are 1.5 to 3 millimeters long and are known to chew holes through watermelon leaves. To manage flea beetles, spray crops with botanicals or other alternative products. Apply mulching and control or remove weeds.